Hey, what's up? This is Luke with harmonica.com and thank you so much for checking out this video on scales for beginners. Okay, so this lesson is intended for a beginner. Uh, you don't have to know how to bend, but you do have to know how to isolate notes for this video. And what I'm going to teach you is I'm going to teach you the major scale and the center octave of the harmonica. And that's going to help to, to paint a picture in your mind's eye of where the notes are laying. And it's going to get your ear and your mouth and your brain connected so that you can learn your favorite songs more quickly and more easily. Okay? This is the scale I'm going to be teaching you. And then along the way, I'm also going to teach you how to play The Lion Sleeps Tonight. And that's going to help us to start to understand the concept of intervals and how a melody fits within this scale. Okay, so before we even play the scale, let's check out where the major scale comes from. And to do that, we'll look at a piano keyboard, because that's where it really makes sense. Because we're just playing from C to C on the white keys. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then coming back down. C, B, A, G, F, E. Cool. Now what interval means is it just means the distance between two tones, okay? And what's going to help us actually is replacing the letter names on the keyboard with numbers. So instead of doing letter names, which really don't mean much to us, we're going to instead replace those with numbers. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. And that will help us start to understand intervals, like a second, one, two, one, and a third, one, three, one. And that's going to help us to start to connect our ear and our mouth and be able to figure out songs more quickly and easily and also be able to solo. All right. So let's go ahead and learn this now on the harmonica. Again, I'm playing a C harmonica. We're in first position here. So this is going to be a C major scale. The tabs are below the video. So if you ever need to pause the video and look down there, um, the tabs are also going to be on screen as we play this, and I'm going to be saying it. We're going to start on the four below, okay? And if you're unsure if you're on the four below or not, easiest thing to do is just start at the one and slide on over. Okay, so there's our one. It's the four below on the harmonica, but I'm saying it's the one because it's the first note in the major scale. That's the four blow. One. Now the four draw. Two. That's the second note of the scale, the four draw. Third note of the scale will be the five blow. Three. The fourth note of the scale will be the five draw. Four. The fifth note of the scale will be the six blow. Five. The sixth note of the scale will be the six draw. Six. And now the seventh note of the scale is going to actually be the seven draw. Seven. And then the final, we're back up to the seven blow. Back up to one again. One. That brings us to the top of the scale, okay? So, let's try that ascending nice and slow, like two snaps on each note. Ready, go. Okay, now if you're having problems, if that's taking you a while, if you're, if you're not able to keep up, don't worry. Take your time with this, relax, and have fun. If it takes you a couple weeks to learn the scale, that's great. This is a great exercise, and I just congratulate you for taking the time to learn this because I think it's going to pay off for you. Okay, so now that we can play it ascending, let's try to play it descending. And to play it descending, uh, we're going to start on the 7 blow and come down, okay? So... If we don't know exactly where the seven blow is, what do we do? We're just going to slide over seven. Okay, there's the seven blow. Now remember, it's going to be a blow and a draw first as we're coming down. So we got the seven blow. 
then the seven draw, six draw, six blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. Okay, so ideally, as you're playing this scale to get the maximum benefit out of it, I want you to be thinking about the number of the scale that you're on as you're playing the scale, instead of thinking about whole numbers. I don't think about whole numbers when I'm playing the harmonica. I mean, the numbers of the holes on the harmonica. I'm not thinking, oh, I'm on the four draw, I'm on the five draw. I'm thinking where I am in terms of the notes. And so that's why instead of thinking four blow, you're just thinking like one, two, three. Does that make sense? Because I think that the harmonica is different from the guitar or the piano where you can see the notes. On the piano, you can see what notes you're playing with your fingers. The guitar, you can look at your fingers and you can see what you're doing. But the harmonica, the thing is in your mouth, so you can't see what you're doing. And so really having uh, some kind of point of reference of what you're doing is going to help you so much, okay? And I think learning The Lion Sleeps Tonight is going to be a great way to start to explore this idea. So first of all, let's just learn The Lion Sleeps Tonight, and then we'll talk about um, fitting it into the major scale and, and seeing how the two things overlap. Okay, so we're going to start with In the Jungle, and that's going to be four blow, four draw, five blow, four draw. Then the next line is the mighty jungle. That's going to be five blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. Okay, so let's just try that much. Ready, go. Okay, then picking up on the next line, the lion sleeps tonight. That's going to be four draw, five blow, four draw, four blow, five blow, four draw. Like this. Okay, so let's try that whole thing, the whole first half. Ready, go. Okay, now we're ready for the second half, which is similar. We're just going to go six blow, five blow, four draw, five blow. And then six blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. And then the last line is just exactly the same, so you already know that. Okay, so let's try the whole thing. Ready, go. Okay, and that's The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Tonight. Now, if you can't play along with that, don't worry. The thing I see so much when I'm teaching students is just that everybody's in such a hurry and they want to just play it so fast and everything. Just take your time, relax, take a deep breath and enjoy yourself. This is fun. Now, I do want to say, if you look at the bottom of the tabs that I've provided below this video, 
you'll see how I replaced the words of in the jungle with the intervals of the scale. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, two, one. Again, I'm not talking about whole numbers. I'm not talking about the whole numbers on the harmonica. I'm talking about the intervals that we looked at up on the piano earlier and that we want to start getting those in our ears. So think about that. Once you can play this, look down where I wrote the tabs below the names of the intervals and see if you can start to sort of in your mind's eye imagine those intervals that you're playing and how they fit in the scale. And I think that's going to help you really be on your way. The harmonica is such an awesome instrument. It's so small and yet we can play three octaves. Now the bottom octave requires draw bends. And the top octave requires one blow bend. And so that's why we started with this middle octave, because you don't have to do any bending. The other thing I just want to state here before we finish up, which you already noticed, but the harmonica switches when you get to whole seven. So as we were going up the scale, we started on the four blow, the four draw was higher. Then we went to the five blow, which was higher. Five draw is higher. Six blow is higher. Six draw is higher. But then when we get to the seven, it reverses, and the draw is lower than the blow, right? So that's why we always have that funky little change that we have to do between this whole six and whole seven of the harmonica. So there's two draws in a row, whereas the rest of the time we've been going blow, draw, blow, draw, blow, draw. Now when we get to whole seven, there's two draws in a row as we're going up and then ending with the seven blow. And conversely, as we're coming down the scale, seven blow, then we're on the seven draw, and we're going to the six draw. So again, there's those two draws. So we always have that little place where it switches. And the reason that it's done that way has to do with the chords. Anywhere you're playing, and, and you'll see this in my next video, which is gonna be chords for beginners. Anywhere we play when we're blowing, that's all the notes in the C major chord. And when we draw, that's all notes in the G dominant seven chord. That's nothing to worry about, but that's why it switches there between whole six and seven. And that's something that you just have to get used to on the harmonica. Okay, so if you got through all this, again, I just want to congratulate you. You learned to play the major scale and you learned to play the lion sleeps tonight and you're beginning to understand intervals. You're well on your way to being an awesome harmonica player. So keep having fun. Keep on blowing the harmonica, and I'll see you soon. And the reason that we're doing this is I need to wipe the sweat off my head again. So that's six blow. It's just, it's just so hot. The sweating is annoying. Oops, I swore.